here's the crazy thing about writing Savage Love all these years. When I was gay and 17 and gay and 25 when I started the column, I hated straight guys. The co first couple years of the column, when it first started out, it was a joke. And I was mean to straight people. The idea was I would write a column that was as dismissive of straight people and straight sex and as heterophobic as all other advice columns had ever been dismissive of gay people and gay sex and homophobic. So the first couple of years of Savage Love, I'm like, fuck you straight people, fuck you straight guys, I fucking hate you. Eat my gay ass, right? And straight people kind of liked that attitude. And so I started getting more and more letters from straight guys seeking my advice. And after another year or two, my, you know, like the Grinch, my heart grew three sizes one day, and suddenly I loved straight guys. And not in that way some creepy, stupid gay guys love straight guys. I loved them platonically. And because I started to feel really sorry for straight guys. <laughs> they run the world. They rule the world. Yeah, well, running the world is not all glamour. They also run the 7-Eleven and the Taco Bell. Who wants to do that? The straight guys, let them. <laughs> But sexually, they're pretty miserable. And who makes them miserable? Women? <laughs> Gay guys? Other straight guys? Because heterosexual male identity, ever since the beginning of the modern gay and lesbian civil rights movement, has really can be, can kind of been threatened and under siege. And straight guys have been kind of at sea. Because heterosexual male identity, somehow in the early 60s, 70s, when gay people started coming out, and it was suddenly gay to get your dick sucked, not just to be the one who sucked the dick, right? You could be a gay top, which didn't used to exist. Suddenly being a straight guy, if you're a straight guy in America now, you, uh, what makes you straight is that you're not a girl and you're not a fag. So anything that girls do or like, or that fags do or like, is forbidden. If you want to maintain your straight guy bona fides. So straight guys can't have feelings. They can't have nipples. Every day I get letters from straight guys who have nipples that respond to stimulation. They like to have their nipples sucked. And they write me and say, you know, they like to have their nipples played with while they're eating pussy. And they write me letters and say, I, am I gay? <laughs> no, there's no amount of nipple stimulation that would make eating pussy tolerable for me. I could have kept a car battery to my nipples and it wouldn't work. And you get straight guys, they can't have feelings, they can't worry about what they're wearing, they can't be at all concerned about their appearance. And there's this terror of sexual, of not being normal sexually. So you get straight guys who are afraid because they like it doggy style. And that's about ass, so they must be gay because being gay is all about ass. Really, goat ass, girl ass, boy ass, doesn't matter, just give me some ass, it's all about ass. And then I get letters from their girlfriends saying, my boyfriend must be gay because he only wants to do it doggy style. Or my boyfriend must be gay because he has sensitive nipples. My boyfriend must be gay because he's rushing home to watch the finale for ER. <laughs> and how sad to be a straight guy and have all this world closed off to you. You know, girls go off to college and have lesbian experiences. Girls go off to college and identify as lesbian for a time. And then they go, they graduate and think, oh, what's their thinking? I want some cock. <laughs> And straight guys marry them, and straight guys are like, cool, you ate pussy in college, tell me more. <laughs> but straight guys think they're straight girls now. They're all like, oh, no, you're secretly a lesbian. You have to be a lesbian. You couldn't have done that if you weren't secretly and totally and forever a lesbian. Right? You ate pussy. Oh, my God, a lesbian. But the straight guy who met the perhaps one guy who did it for him, and they rolled around one night drunk, if his friends find out, if his girlfriend finds out, the old joke was, you know, you build a thousand bridges and nobody calls you an engineer, suck one dick. <laughs> and you're a fag forever. How sad for straight guys, how circumscribed for straight guys. There's a lesbian firefighter who works at a firehouse a block from my office. And it's a joke now between she and I because I would walk down the street. It happened like a dozen times. I'd walk down the street and I saw her out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, whoa, and check her out. Whoa. Because I thought she was Rolf from The Sound of Music with muscles. <laughs> whoa, you're a hot firefighting lady. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit, you're a lady. And she noticed me going, like, more than once, oh, shit, you're a lady. So she walked up to me one day and went, you ought to fuck me, even though I'm a lady firefighter. And it became like a joke. And you know what? I would totally fuck her. I totally would. And it doesn't make me an ounce less gay to go, there's the one lady in the world right now who I would do. And guys, it doesn't make you an ounce less straight if there's one guy, Chase Crawford, on the planet, 
that kind of like vibes in your reptile brain somehow. It doesn't make you less of a straight guy. If you cross-dress, it doesn't make you less of a straight guy. You like what you like. And if a guy and a girl are doing it together, it's heterosexual sex, whatever it is. If you put a finger in your ass, there's no like override switch in your butt that's going to turn you gay. <laughs> If she put a finger in your ass and you liked it, you liked that straight finger and ass action that you were given. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so we should like leave the straight guys alone. Half the mail I get is from straight guys going, I like X, Y, or Z. Tell me I'm not gay or tell me I am gay. Or from girls saying that about their boyfriends. Staggering. I don't get letters from gay guys who are worried because their male partners like to watch straight porn every once in a while. Gay guys don't sit there going, oh my god, I must really be straight. 